Just breaking moments ago, U.S. President Biden mishandled classified documents but will not face criminal charges, according to U.S. Special Counsel. I mean, unlike, you know, what, what Donald Trump has had to go through, where it's just been a nightmare, Biden gets off easy. He gets off easy, you know, because, hey, the documents, they were just in the garage, right? Right next to my Corvette. That's all, people. Remember? Classified classified material next to your Corvette. What were you thinking? Let me, uh, the, I'm going to get a chance to speak on all this, God willing, soon. But as I said earlier this week, people, and by the way, my Corvette's in a lock garage. Okay, so it's not like you're sitting out in the street. So the but street anyway, in a yes, as well as my Corvette. Um, but uh, as I said earlier this week, people know I take classified documents and classified material seriously. Yeah, because, you know, you lock them up next to the Corvette. I, I mean, how was that relevant? You know, I'd love to see him in a courtroom. Good thing he never really practiced law because he would have been really bad. He would have been worse than the Supreme Court justice we heard that was somehow trying to prove a totally different case today. She was really stuck on insurrection when they were all just trying to debate the Colorado state ballot. But this is unbelievable. So U.S. Uh, President Joe Biden, he has been basically, uh, you know, convicted of mishandling classified documents, but will not face any criminal charges. So they decided, yep, he did the wrong thing. But it turns out he did the wrong thing. And the reason they're not moving forward with any charges is because it would look really bad. I mean, he's just so old. This is why it's so embarrassing, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, when this is the reason you get off, they, they didn't let Trump off for this reason. Here, let me quote from a story on NBC right now. This is a quote actually from the investigators themselves. So by declining to prosecute, they said they, they had to have a reason. What, and what was the reason? It was Biden's limited memory. That's why. Again, how utterly humiliating. Both during the 2017 recorded conversations with the ghostwriter that he was doing a, an interview with, as well as investigators last year. I'm going to quote, Given Mr. Biden's limited precision and recall during his interviews with his ghostwriter and with our office, jurors may hesitate to place too much evidentiary weight on a single eight-word utterance to his ghostwriter about fine and classified documents in Virginia in the absence of other more direct evidence. It goes on, quote, we have also considered that at trial, Mr. Biden would likely present himself to a jury as he did during our interview of him as a sympathetic well-meaning, elderly man with a poor memory. Investigators are, oh my goodness. So an elderly man with a poor memory. That's who our president of the United States of America is. And this is why he's allowed to take classified documents. And we're not going to, we're not going to penalize him for it. We're not going to follow up on it because he's just a poor old man. He's a poor old man. And you wonder why he's fallen in the polls so badly. I mean, this is pathetic. I'm telling you, it's utterly pathetic. He should be ashamed. He should be embarrassed. The Democrat Party should be embarrassed. I don't know how they're going to run. I really don't. I, I think Michelle is sitting there going, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Now is my time. And she'd be right to think that because you can't even go after him because he's just a poor old man. And that's how he's going to present himself to the jury as he presented himself to the investigators. We got ourselves a grand old mess, do we not, ladies and gentlemen? One big old grand mess.